We started this pathway project at the very beginning of our term. It was something that was spoken about in previous councils and it was something that we found that was really needed within this town for connectivity so that people could get from one place to the other without using an automobile. A pathway network and pathways themselves may appear to be a fairly straightforward amenity or functional feature of a community, but there's a lot of thought that goes into how they're designed and how accessible they can be for the community. The main section along the canal is three meters in width. Three meters is chosen because it allows two wheelchairs to pass each other comfortably. As a community, we're also focused on accessibility for users of different levels of mobility whether that's somebody that has a lived experience with a physical disability that makes it more difficult to access certain amenities in the community or cognitive or visual disabilities. The goal was to connect uh, as many neighborhoods around town that have children that could use the pathways to get to schools around town, as well as our quads complex, which is our featured recreation facility. We're certainly going to ensure that it's free of snow and ice throughout the winter time so that it does serve the community for the full 12 months a year. We're fortunate to have the land donated by SMRID is that some locations they, they needed to keep the access to themselves. I see that there are many great uses for this pathway in the town of Coaldale. Maybe in the future we can figure out a way to incorporate that with the family fun run and we can work collectively with the town to try to make that happen. Looking to the future when like with the goal of it possibly being linked to Lethbridge. I think like the opportunities for the families and all the residents of Colville actually being tied to that um, community as well is just huge. By providing this uh, section of pathway through town, eventually we will be able to connect that regional pathway and continue onto the network to Lethbridge. The feedback has been very positive. It is so nice to see even on Facebook or other social media platforms, people are posting their kids riding their bikes down the path or them walking as a family or walking their dogs. It's been informed by many, many years of, the, of observing people using uh, informal pathways throughout the community. And one of the easiest ways to build a successful pathway network is to look at where people already walk and cycle and get around. This pathway has been great because my kids like to visit with friends out in Cottonwood. And so what this path does is it creates unity with all of the neighborhoods. So it gives nice safe access so that my kids can go from one side of town to the other. The great thing about this pathway and its connectivity already throughout town now is that as Coldell expands, we can add to that pathway. So it's beneficial for everybody today and tomorrow.